everyone. Yes, it is two solar panels. The one on the left is a grid tie 200 watt solar panel from Canadian Solar that I've had for about five years and I've used in camping and in my camping solar generator videos I've had. Well, my charge controller, which I will get in a few minutes, has a maximum power of 260 watts that it can handle. So I wanted to see if I can max it out with another 100 watt panel in series because we know already mismatched panels we can't put in parallel because the one on the left is 24 volts this one is only 12 volts so and even better yet the 24 volt panel is only 60 cells a standard 24 volt panel for charging lead acid batteries is actually 72 cells this is a little bit less cells but more surface area for grid tie installations but an MPPT charge controller has no problems with it so I want to see what happens when I put these two in series now this one I just got in the mail today it's a 100 watt 12 volt HQST polycrystalline panel that I bought from Amazon it was on the used section uh, I don't know why, maybe busted box or something like that. We're going to test it real quick and make sure it's okay. But here's another thing that's interesting at first glance. They're both polycrystalline. This one, you could definitely see the crystals in it. Such as if I go back to autofocus and zoom in on here, you can see all the different crystals in it. It's a polycrystalline panel. Now this one is also a polycrystalline panel, but I swear it looks like a monocrystalline. I mean, you really can't see the different crystals in it. So let's turn the panel around and get the specs off of it. So it is an HQST panel. Maximum power is 100 watts. Open circuit voltage, 22.4 optimum, all that other good stuff. And here's all the information. Maximum 600 volts DC in series. And the connections are, what's that, two feet? Yeah, so they're pretty short, but let me get a multimeter and we'll flip it back around, put the wires on top, and we'll actually test some of these and see if it actually matches up. Okay, so I got the solar panel. I got the connectors for it right here. The multimeter, hopefully you can read it right there. And the phone is just a picture of the back label for a cheat sheet for me because I can't remember crap. So first, let's test the open circuit voltage. And that was 22.4 volts. Let's make sure we don't shade the panel at all. See what we get. And I'm backwards. Okay, so the mail is positive on the MC4 connectors. I'm getting 21 point, yeah, basically 21 volts. So I'm oh, shading it. Still, even when my head's not shading it, I'm about 1.4 volts low. So let's try the open the uh, short circuit current. So let's go 10 amps. And the, let's see here, short circuit current is 5.92 amps. So let's see what that gives us. I'll shade the panel. We're getting 5.3, which is not bad for living in Delaware. And it is clear, but kind of hazy because it is still the middle of the summer. So there's smog everywhere. So I would say this panel is running correctly. And we're going to get really close to 100 watts out of this panel. So let's move on to the next step. Okay, right now we are connected to the 200 watt solar panel and I repositioned them and re-angled them down a little bit more so this way it catches the light much better so we get a better performance. So let's go to the screen and see what we're getting. Let's see if I can block the sun here. There we go. We're getting 157 watts right now and if I flip it over and you will see the controller is in MPPT mode. So let's go over to the 100 watt panel and try that now. Okay, now we are connected to the 100 watt panel. If you follow the wire in the back there, you will see it goes right up to the 100 watt panel. So let's go to the screen and see what we're getting out of that. Okay, so, oh, I'm shading it, hold on. There we go, that's better. 73.7 watts and if we double check we are in MPPT mode so now let's go ahead and connect them both in series and see what we're getting out of it so we should be getting let's see here 150 we should get over 200 watts easily 
Okay, we got both panels hooked up in series now. And I noticed before the charge controller actually started charging, when I flipped the breaker for the solar to turn it on, the open circuit voltage was 52.2 volts. And then it started doing its work and doing its little algorithm thing. So let's go down and see if we have an actual net gain by running both of these panels in series. And oh yeah, definitely. 208 watts at what, 42.3 volts and five amps coming in. That is really good. So we're taking extra voltage and converting it into extra current for the battery. So now if we go to the battery part, which should be up, I believe. Yeah, here's the battery. We have a current now, 15.2 amps. I've never had that much before. I've only had maybe 10, 11 on a really good day when the battery was really low. So yes, it works with unmatched solar panels. As long as you run them in series, with a maximum power point tracking charge controller, you can use mismatched panels. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Thumbs up, please. I'll see you next video.